Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm DJ Philly, and welcome to Master Crafters. Today, we're going to be talking about the new unified Minecraft launcher for Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you haven't seen, there is a brand new launcher that has appeared up in the Microsoft Store. And this actually combines all three of the current big Minecraft games, including Java Edition, the Bedrock Edition, and Minecraft Dungeons. So this app will only work for Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers, but you can actually play all three of the games because they are all playable within the Windows 10 and 11 computers. So first up, we will actually teach you the quick steps on how to install the Minecraft Unified Launcher so you can use it. And then afterwards, we will actually go over all of the new and improved features that the Unified Launcher brings to us. So getting the unified Minecraft launcher is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is go over to the Microsoft Store on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, and you can just look it up with the search bar. And then once you go to the Microsoft Store, you can look up Minecraft launcher, and it should appear for you. Then we can go ahead and click the install button, and it should install locally on your computer. Once you press the install button, as you can see, the app will actually download and it doesn't usually take that long of a process to download. But as you can see, we have it right here. We can play it through the Microsoft Store. And there we go, guys. We have the brand new Minecraft Unified Launcher ready to go and to play for our devices. So what's new with the Minecraft Unified Launcher? Well, we are actually on the Java Edition tab. And as you can see, not much has changed. We have the installation page where you can run new installations. We have the skin page, and we also have the patch notes for Java Edition. But as you see over in the left hand area of the screen, we also have a tab for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition of the game. And it's fairly similar. We actually have a play button here. Of course, we don't have an installations tab or anything like that because Minecraft Bedrock can only run the most recent update of the game, unfortunately. But we do have a FAQ page. If you ever have questions, you can also uninstall the Minecraft game if you ever need to with the installation page. And we have the Bedrock specific patch notes, which you can go through instead of going to the Minecraft website. Next up, we have the tab for Minecraft Dungeons, which you can also launch through the Minecraft Unified Launcher. And there is a pretty cool DLC page as well, where you can buy up all of the new DLC that has come to Minecraft Dungeons. Like the Bedrock Edition tab, there's also a FAQ page where you can look up some questions if you ever have questions. There is an installations page to uninstall dungeons, and of course there are also patch notes for the Minecraft Dungeons game. And above the three game tabs, we also have news, and this is usually news that appears on the Minecraft website. You can also look up from here, including the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 is coming, yay! In the top corner, you can also manage your Microsoft accounts and you can also manage your Java edition profile as well. You can log out and you can also view all accounts. Down below there is also a settings tab where you can change general settings as well like the language, you can use the beta version and just a bunch of other general settings. You can change your account and unfortunately with the unified launcher you can only have one account at a time. With the previous Java edition only launcher you can have multiple accounts but for some reason this only allows you to log into one account at a time and hopefully they change that later on for convenience purposes. And then we have the about page. Now the Minecraft Unified Launcher supports all three of the big Minecraft games, but you will need to purchase all three of them separately to run them within the launcher. Of course you need to install Java Edition from the Minecraft website and Minecraft Bedrock Edition from Microsoft Stores, and then you can actually install Minecraft Dungeons from multiple different places like Steam. You can also install it from Microsoft Stores, and I believe you can install it online as well. But you will need to purchase all three games to run them within the launcher. 
So there we go. I think we covered mostly everything from the new unified Minecraft launcher for Windows 10 and 11. I think it is a pretty cool resource to have now that we can launch all three of the games within one place. And it is pretty cool. Now there are a few issues, including the logo being really small for some reason and a couple other things, but I think they are going in the right direction. So anyway, hopefully you like this quick and easy tutorial and we will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day.